welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cora. Welcome to my library. <sighs> picky eaters. Everybody hates them, except for other picky eaters. I know my mom hates them because I am one. But there's a reason for that, folks. A very dark, dark reason. No, I'm just kidding. It's just a traumatizing experience from my childhood. Yay! A long time ago, back in a time called 2007, I had a friend that, like, we were fairly close, and one day I went over to her house, and we were just, like, playing outside, you know, in the court and, like, playing basketball and stuff. It was fun. They had a big family, so they were one of those people that's like, okay, clean your plate, you know, because they were such a big family that they had to feed everybody, and they didn't want anything to go to waste. It was time for lunch, and my friend's mom came out with lunch. I was already a picky eater. But this, I think, is what, like, really made it bad, because I'm ridiculously picky, and I feel like this is one of the reasons why. <laughs> she had, like, tuna, but it wasn't just, like, normal tuna. It was really, like, gross tuna. You know what I'm saying? And she had peas, cold peas, and just, like, I don't even remember any of the other stuff. It's just everything that could have the possibly worst smell and texture just... I'm a little kid, I'm not gonna eat that, right? So I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh, like I don't wanna eat it, but I feel bad, like what do I do? And so then I got the idea, oh, I'll just throw it away behind her back. Nope, that was a bad idea. I snuck the plate in, it was on a paper plate, so I was able to throw it away. I snuck it into the house, I told them that I was going to the bathroom and they didn't find it suspicious that I was bringing my food with me. I put it on top of the garbage. I didn't actually like, flip it over. That's what I should have done. I'm an idiot. But you know, I didn't want to disrespect her cooking even though I already was by throwing it away. So I just set it on top of the pile in the garbage. So it was like in the garbage, but it didn't like fall off of the plate. I go back outside and I'm all, yeah, I solved my problem. The mom was gone. I'm like, oh, where did Mrs. So-and-so go? She comes back out a few minutes later with my plate that I had in the garbage. She comes up to me and says, Cora, did you throw this away? And I said, yeah, I'm sorry. Like, I just, I'm really picky and I didn't want to hurt your feelings. She's like, well, it's okay, but you know, we have a policy in this family to clean your plate. And so I thought what she meant by that was, you know, instead of like setting it on top to like, you know, take a fork or whatever and scrape it into the garbage. So I was like, oh, like, I'm sorry. Like, I didn't know that. That's not what she meant. She literally meant like, eat everything off of the plate. She made me eat the food that I already didn't like, but now that I could not stand because I put it in the garbage. And on top of that, she spoon fed it to me. I was like five or six years old. I was way past the point of spoon feeding my <coughs> That's like a baby, like one, maybe two years old. I was way too old to be being spoon fed. I had to sit there and be spoon-fed peas and tuna by my friend's mom. Needless to say, I did not hang out with that girl again. <laughs> Unless if I did, it wasn't at her house. It was just at my house or, you know, wherever, wherever else. Ugh, oh, to this day, that still grosses me out so bad. It sucks because I wish that I could just eat, you know, a wide variety of foods like anybody else can. But you don't understand the struggle. Unless if you were a picky eater yourself, you don't understand the struggle. It literally, like, if you eat a food that smells weird, or has a weird texture, or anything like that, it's just, I have tried just ignoring it, and I can't. I can't ignore it. <sighs> the struggle is real. I can't look at peas the same now after seeing them in the garbage. I just, I ate food out of the garbage. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that story time. May have been a little triggering, you know, since, it was gross, and if you're squeamish, I apologize if this really grossed you out, but you know, there's more story types to come, and they just get worse than this. <laughs> I hope you guys had a good day off for President's Day! Woo! Yeah! I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. I will see you this Saturday, I promise for real this time, a book tag video. I don't know what kind of book tag, but it's gonna have to do with books. Love you guys! Bye!